You guys ever wonder what's going on inside an AED? I know I've been pretty curious myself. Let's go ahead and take a look. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, we're gonna to take a look inside the Defeb Tech Lifeline AED. I've always been kind of curious, how does it work? Let's go ahead and open it up. And this unit here was luckily provided to me by the guys over at me.net, meddot. And uh, they do uh, equipment installs and deinstalls, and they also are a retailer of AEDs like this one. So thanks and shout out to those guys for Providing me with this guy, I do appreciate it. So first off, you can see here, I've got my pad pack, which connects at the handle, kind of interesting. Haven't seen one like that before. Um, so this is just a trainer set, so I'll go ahead and throw it over here. And uh, this AED, mind you guys, don't just go opening up defibrillators. They're very dangerous. So I'm a trained professional. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this right now and if i get shocked well hey we're all gonna learn something right so this unit here is got uh what side loading batteries yep all right first off we can get rid of the battery the battery pack is extremely lightweight and i only see a nine volt battery here there's no way this thing runs off just a nine volt battery right we're gonna find out let's see it goes yep just like that okay so there's the battery pack and this one here is going to be a T20 Torx. Let's open her up. Let's see, do I have any other Torx underneath labels? So most medical devices, they like hiding your fasteners either under labels, that way there they know if you've been inside goofing around with it, or they like hiding fasteners under the rubber feet, which obviously this one here, it doesn't look like they tried either of those approaches, luckily for us. And I am immediately seeing different length fasteners. So be mindful of where you pull them out if you ever take a medical device apart. And one more on the handle. There we go. And apparently that looks like that's all of them. All right. Feels like I've got some more fasteners here. So I'm checking this over molding on the sides to see if there's any hidden fasteners. You can usually feel if there is. And let's see, this guy right here. Yep. All right, there we go. Okay, so your pad shield comes off. That makes more sense. All right, guys. And the infamous warranty void if tampered sticker which according to the magnus and moss act is illegal so no matter what they have to prove that if this unit quits working it's because of something i did not because i opened it up Ooh, getting kind of excited i've always wanted to open one of these guys up oh that's a that's a crazy seal too all right we got it, we got it. All right, let's try this again. Much better. Okay, so I can tell on the back is where all the components are kind of connected. And from a side look, you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five. I have a numerous cables that connect from one to the other. So from here, we just gotta be really careful and mindful because the capacitors on this guy could and probably are charged to some degree. So I'm just going to get this cable out from here. There it is. Just one little connector. And the battery pack interface. So if you ever take these apart, do not reverse the polarity of these two cables. So the bottom one is the white, the top one is the black. All right. And in the lid, we have uh, your main activation button. You have some uh, 
light rods. So they carry from the LEDs on the board to the front panel. Very cool. And we have our speaker, which appears to be weatherproof. Also a cool feature because you never know where, what environment these are going to be used in. So this is your pads interface. That's not battery. That's pads interface right here. Okay, guys. And inside this, we have a very large capacitor, which I was expecting. All right. I have a control board and a power management board. Now you can always tell the difference between boards because power management, you're always going to have voltage regulators. You're always going to have things like your load resistor right here. We got uh, probably step up transformers. So anytime you see like a transformer and a large capacitor, there's a voltage rail there. And let's see, what do we got here? We have some massive drivers on these. What are these? I see IXYS. And this is an XGT25N250. I'll have to look those up. So these are obviously your drivers that deliver the punch. Very cool. Um, so this right here would be your main logic board. And your main logic board has got a jumper that connects the two boards together. That's very cool. I think it's interesting here that um, the pads are connected in parallel. You see this? So one of the leads comes down here to your driver board, which this is what delivers the energy. And up here, they're in parallel to this connector because this is probably your monitoring board. Because the pads, one of the things that it's monitoring is it's a multi-section pad. And does this one have, this one also might have the compressions counter, which is uh, probably going to be some sort of resistive network in there. So as you depress the pads for CPR, it will keep track of that. And all that has to be done through these wires. So these two wires right here that come into this board, your logic board is going to monitor that and make adjustments accordingly. It's also going to be monitoring because this is an AED for any sort of existing heart rate. So it's going to be monitoring through your pads for some sort of heart rate. And it will take that data and it will come down and it will make some sort of judgment call on what level of shock and if there is a shock needed. Very cool. So um, the big no-no on this guy is a capacitor, but the cool thing about this is this capacitor is special and it looks like it's hermetically sealed. So this is actually a very safe unit to take apart. And that means the danger end, one of them is right here. And the other one is over here on the other side of what looks like maybe a step up, little mini step up transformer. Hard to say. Maybe if somebody from the company could correct me on that. So this large resistor right here, this would be your uh, discharge resistor or bleed down resistor. And it might also be used for internal testing. So it is a, what's the wattage on this guy? It looks like maybe a five watt, but it's a 2.5 kilo ohm, 1% resistor. And this one right here, this is a Zettler relay, and that would probably be the relay that connects and that either delivers the punch or more likely that one there will connect your pads with this bleed down resistor and allow it to de-energize. Uh, hard to say. I wish I knew more about it, but uh, very cool. Very simple device. There's no real need to take it apart any further because that's it. That is it. This is not a very complex unit. Some of them have a uh, readout and then it would have an LCD controller. Um, but everything is done through verbal commands on this device and status LEDs and through your pads. So it monitors your pads, which monitors the patient. And then your status LEDs will give you any error codes or anything that are going on with it. Or if your pads are starting to peel away from the body, that's all monitored through this board up here. This board down here is strictly for taking the battery voltage and stepping it up to the amount that's needed. Now, mind you, defibs don't deliver a huge amount of like current. It's, it's just minute, but it's, it's a massive amount of energy in a very short amount. Kind of like static electricity. Static electricity is, you know, tens of thousands of volts, but very few amps. 
well, this guy here is going to deliver some amps, maybe at low voltage. Hard to say. I'd love to know more about it. Well, no, check that. It, it is definitely high voltage because it says so right here. So maybe I'll, I'll see if I can find some more documentation. I highly doubt that I'm going to find it. But uh, the cool thing is, the one thing that we have to look out for is that these uh, capacitors right here are normally exposed to some degree. This one's hermetically sealed. So this is a pretty safe unit to open up and take a look. But uh, I'll probably be donating this guy to a college so that future biomeds can open it up, take a look for themselves, and uh, maybe learn something. What do you think? Anyway, guys, that is the simple inners of an AED. Anyway, thanks to the guys over at MedDot. I do appreciate that. That's MedDot.net. I'll leave their information in the video description. They're the ones that provide this for me, and I do appreciate that. I'm going to further donate it to a medical college from here. So thanks for watching, guys.